maybe, maybe Mr. Lazarus knows better than I do how many bombs the, the president has to drop without congressional authorization before that becomes war. Uh, I don't know the actual number. Uh, but I think what Mr. King was getting at is, you know, there is, there is one last uh, res, uh, res, uh, thing to which the people can resort if the government does not uh, respect the, uh, the the restraints that the Constitution places on the government. Abraham Lincoln talked about our, our right to uh, alter our government or our revolutionary right to overthrow it. And that is certainly something that no one wants to contemplate. But uh, as I mentioned in my, in my, in my written and uh, my delivered testimony, if the people come to believe that the government is no longer constrained by the laws, then they will conclude that neither are they. That is why this is a very, very dangerous sort of thing for the, a, the a president to do, to wantonly ignore the laws, uh, to try to impose obligations on people that the legislature did not approve. It's an excellent conclusion. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I yield back.